Good morning. What are you doing? Good morning. Don't be shy. I don't bite. Just a little bit. Good morning. Dihaila. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Petra. I hope I'm saying that right. How are you guys this morning? I already started doing my brows. Um, I'm super excited today because I want to try some new eyeshadows, like a lot of eyeshadows, okay? So I don't know how crazy this is going to get today. Good morning, Dora. Good morning. You up early. Uh, hi, Celeste. Hi, Betty. I'm running. I'm sorry I'm running late. Um, I was trying to get uh, everything ready before I go live. And then my stomach was hurting, so I'm like, stomach hurt. Just, 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 just. Yeah. You know how it goes. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Wendy. So, sorry. I usually, I'm supposed to go live maybe at like 6 or 5.30. I mean, I'm running late again. But I really am super excited because I got some new eye, um, eye shadows. And I can't wait to try them. I think I want to put them all. I'm going to look like a clown today. It's okay. Hi, Gloria. Good morning. Good morning, beautifuls. Oh, and I learned some hack for your eyebrows uh, yesterday. So... I'm gonna show you right after I'm done cleaning it. I'm gonna show you guys where are those hack. Remember I told you guys to get even a gel for your eyebrows, you know, to keep them up, you know, the bushy like mine. Well, I'm gonna show you how to hack that, that you don't have to buy that. Oh, I thought you took a picture. No, so, I got your new box. Oh, thank you. I was like, what are you taking that picture for? Selfie. Selfie. But first, I'm going to do a video, but first, let me take a selfie. Hi, Candy. Hi, Veronica. Oh, my elbow hurt this morning. I can't even lift my cup of coffee. Ouch. I got an owie. Ooh. Oh, I didn't close the... The sugar, so they're looking at me. Okay. Hi, Candy. Good morning. Oh my God, it's cats. So if you hear like meow, wow, wow, that's cats and dogs. We got some cats and dogs up in here. So I like to start my brows like off of camera before because it just kind of like it takes me a little bit longer and I just clean it in front of you guys so you guys could see how I clean them and I use a, a paint brush to clean them because it's really thing I'm sure you guys seen it before it, it makes the job so much easier okay you don't have to have something fancy and you can clean it with um, conceal uh, Concealer. I was calling this primer yesterday, so I was like, oh my god. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Lillian. Hi, Karen. Good morning, beautiful. Oh my god, I need my face, okay? This is, I need my face. So, I'm going to show you, like, um... I guess one hack about your eyebrows.
And you can oh, you can use it if you don't have like the pen, eyebrow pen. You don't have to get specific stuff for your eyebrows. You can use the eyeshadow. You know that, right? Brown eyeshadow. I'm using the eyebrow eyeshadow. Oh my god, this one looks thicker. So we're gonna put the we're gonna make it skinner. I'm using this dark brown right here. Okay. You can use your eyeshadow for your um, eyebrows. No, we need to bring this down. And the hack that I was going to tell you guys today is grab us your, your hairspray, okay? I'm going, I'm going. Sorry, I'm drinking my coffee. Um, yes, coffee. Mmm. I like my Superwoman uh, cup. Yes, this is a paintbrush. We're going to be, Nancy, we're going to get very crafty. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Nancy, have not seen my paintbrush. Yes, Nancy. They'll get you some paintbrushes, girl. <laughs> um, so you're gonna grab your hairspray. Good morning. Abigail, good morning. So you're gonna grab a you know, something that you usually brush your eyebrows with. Grab a hairspray. You're going to spray them together. Then you're going to brush. Ah! Okay. Just like that. And then, so you can brush your eyebrows. So all the hair stays up all day. Yeah. You know how I usually use the gel after I use, when I use powders. When I use powders... I use my gel, which I don't know what I did with it, that I bought at Walmart like for six dollars. But this is free. This is free, right? So get those little puckers, little puckers up. You know, I'm not done cleaning this out because I think that looks thicker than that one. So the sisters, not twins. Okay. So on time, they're just enemy. So, and every time they will look different. So, use your hairspray and you pew, 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 and brush your eyebrows. And you got a free tip today. I promise I will not send you a bill. Okay, so I'm not that. I don't think I'm done cleaning my eyebrows. Because I need to put some primer, some primer. Oh, ladies, look. This, this is a no-no, okay? This is a no-no. If you go into a job interview or you go into a job office, office work, this is a no-no, okay? You don't show your bra through your shirt. So, we're gonna do this, okay? We're gonna cover those puppies. So, you just gotta like, for the light video purpose, for children not to get like, corrected. So, I need to go change my bra. That's a no-no. Don't ever show you the color of your bra. Okay, I'm gonna do is put my primer on right now. I don't know which, okay, let's use, I don't wanna use my expensive primer, like, so I'm just gonna use the face and eye primer makeup from Unique. I have a different primer, but it's more shimmerish. Like it really gives you more um, glitter all over your face. And I just kind of like, that's not, I don't want to put too much glitter all over my face when, you know, you go to work or you go in like, you know, you don't need to do that. But it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But it's a choice. 
Uh, yeah, sometimes I just I give you guys tips and in the morning I will explain everything that I'm doing for some people They they don't know how to put makeup or they're learning how to put makeup. So I I try my best to explain uh, The best that I can so for you guys to learn what I'm doing and so forth blah 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 I'm sorry if you have, I burn your ear off but it's really good if you have a dry skin, it's really good to use moisturizer, moisturizer, moisturizer. If you have a dry skin, you have to use moisturizer. You have no choice. I'm sorry. So uh, my face is super, 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 super dry. Okay. Extremely dry. So I'm just using primer right now. And when you're using, when you're using moisturizer and primer, make sure you let them set or even sunblock, whatever you're using, you know, you, at the beginning, you wanna use, oh. And I usually use my Uplift Eye Serum, Rich in Vitamin, Natural Skin, Lipids, Antioxidant, this right here. Because as older you get, you start developing some wrinkles if you don't get your all, all sleep. So what it does is like, I wanna put it directly in my skin under my eyes, and it's just kind of like I'm giving it vitamins and antioxidant for my skin to breathe a little bit. And I don't want those wrinkles to like develop. So I'm just like, oh, just trying to apply this in the morning. Just a little drop. Okay. Just a little drop. And I just let it sit. I'm supposed to put this before my primer. In the morning, I have saggy eyes, but throughout the day, it goes away. Because I'm tired right now, so like I didn't want to wake up. What was that you putting? Did I answer it? I don't know. If, I don't know if you answer it. My uplift, uplift eye serum, rich vitamins, natural skin, lipids, antioxidant. And so I just I grab a little bit. I have that like for six months. Uh, so. I just apply a little bit under my, you see how I have my saggy, oh, <laughs> yes, I don't know why, I don't know why it does that, it's be, I guess because I went to bed so late and I didn't get enough sleep. Oh yeah, they're very distracted. I'm glad you're paying attention to this, not to that. Where are they? Toby, what are you doing, baby? And they're playing with the cat. Toby right here. Toby say hey, good morning. Good morning. Say good morning, girls. Say good morning. He's a good boy. Ow. That makes like good blood. He put blood off me. He's like so excited. He's like, oh. No, 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 Toby, stop. That's Toby, and I have another one. His name is Rocco. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I see, I can't even, like, get him excited because he, like, will get so excited. Like, he's so happy, dog. Um, if anybody comes here, like, they want to just be on their lap, and they, they're just so sweet. They're just super sweet. Anyhow, let me keep putting some primer. Let's put some primer in this face. See what you did, uh, Gladys? How did I say your name, Gladys? Gladys May? I can't pronounce that. You better give me a nickname. Okay, so I'm gonna put some primer under my eye. And I'm using Mineral Touch Skin Perfection Concealer Corrector. It's a corrector. It's correcting my face. 
Glad is good. Okay, glad. Okay, I am very glad to meet you. I'm just joking. <laughs> so, okay, I will remember that. Glad. I'm glad. Sorry, I'm bowing names, so I, I remember faces, okay? I remember faces. I don't remember a lot of names. So, if, but if you ever say, hey, Fabiana, and I'll be like, show me you. Your picture. I'm not just joking. <laughs> I uh, I'm bad with names. I'm not very good with them. So I'm trying my best to uh, learn them. To memorize them. Sorry. I always forget people's names, but I remember their faces. I remember. I have pi picture of memory, but not names. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah. It's too early in the morning. That make me remember all you guys' name. Be Becky Tovar. Be you better give me a nickname too. Glad and Becky. I can't pronounce that. Be B E K I I H. How do you pronounce that? Be. For me, I would be like saying Becky. But it's, I don't think that's the way it is. But I don't know. Esmeralda, good morning. Good morning. You see, and I only had two cups of coffee. I mean, two sips of coffee, not, not two. Okay. I'm going to put some primer. We're going to work on my eyeshadow first. So I'm going to put some tape. If I found it, just put some primer up in here. I better stop because sometimes I keep going putting primer all over my face, but I don't even need it because I keep talking. Okay. You concealer is just to conceal dark spot, red spots, stuff that uh, imperfections. Uh, looks so weird right now. Um, <clears throat> Hi, Cassandra. I hope I'm saying it right. Kiki, Cassandra, Kiki. Crystal, Maggie, good morning. Good morning, beautiful ladies. See, I'm painting my face. I'm acting like a clown. Okay. So concealer, okay? Concealer, you only use it to conceal stuff that you don't want. You only want them to see through your foundation, okay? That's... Dobby! We're so gay over there. My two dogs acting gay. Just can't, I can't take that. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's such a gay dog. Um, okay, what I was saying, yeah, concealer, okay? So if you, if you have a perfect skin, you don't have nothing going on, you, you, you take care of your skin, you're really awesome um, doing that, you don't have to use a lot of concealer, okay? You don't have to put a lot of concealer under your eyes if there's nothing there to conceal, okay? So stop that. Good morning, Crystal Kiva. Morning. Morning, girl. Cassandra. Good morning, beautiful lady. Maggie, oh, you're so cute. Oh, the three you conceal before you put your foundation. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that's a good question. Okay, Lexi, your foundation and your concealer needs to be the same color, okay? If it, that's all you use, okay? If you don't care about contouring, if you don't care about other things. I only, I use it lighter than my, uh, the, Concealer, I only use it lighter than my skin because I use it for all the different things. That's why I look white, but it's it's supposed to be the same color on my skin. And the way you match your foundation, it should be with your neck, okay? Whatever color is your neck, that's the way you should be matching your foundation. So everything looks one color, it looks unified. And this needs to be the same color. If you put your, let's see, you put your uh, concealer, right? And then you put your foundation. And then there was like spots that you forgot. And there's like a dark spot. You can see it through your foundation because it's not covering very good. Then you grab a little bit of concealer and you just apply it. And now it's no big deal because they're the same color. You know what I mean? 
So make sure your concealer and foundation is the same color. The only time you're gonna get it is because you know what you're doing and you be like, oh, I wanna use it for contouring. Because I use my primer for contouring too um, in this case. But usually, same color. So remember that, okay? So that was a great question. Hi, Daisy. Oh my God, good morning, mi flaquita. Oh my God, Toby like stuck his nails on me. Are you okay, baby? He doesn't leave you alone. He went like, ah! He stuck his nails on me. I'm bleeding. If I fell, don't call 911. If I faint, don't call 911. Mmm. Waldito, good morning. Waldito, good morning. That crazy lady saying good morning. You better be good today. Or well, I'm gonna come over. <laughs> He's gonna get scared now. <laughs> I just scared him. <laughs> Maggie, that he hurt. Good morning, Divi. Oh. My niece is bleeding. Okay. Anyhow. So, conceal whatever you don't want. Let's go back to conceal. Blah, blah, blah. You conceal. Just, you know, don't leave it like khaki there. Like, just like grab a beauty blender. You can grab a beauty blender or you can grab your fingers and just like, you know, spread it. You know, spread it. <laughs> Uh, you can go beauty blender and then like just tap it, whatever you don't, whatever you conceal it, right? If I, if I miss any of your question, don't feel ignored. I will always go back and answer all your questions, okay? Because I might be looking at the mirror over there. Oh, another trick when you're doing your eyebrows, you don't want to bring your, you know how usually we do it? I, I just learned some couple of tricks yesterday. Uh, where's my mirror? Where's my mirror? Okay. You know how we usually do this? Okay. When you do your eyebrows, try to get a mirror where you see all your whole face. <laughs> Excuse me. A mirror where you see your whole face so you can see what are you doing. Because if you go like this, you might be doing this one bigger than the other one. So you not balance it out on your face. Oh, you like my cap? Super women. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so make sure you get a mirror that you look into your whole face so you can actually pump, pump, pump. He was saying Shaggy didn't know what <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God, I love mess with kids. Thank you, Kiva. I don't know, sometimes I have allergies. So we're gonna conceal the, okay. I do want to work in my eyeshadows today and um, I'm not sure which color to use. Uh, I want to use peach, you know, for summer colors, but um, I have so many colors. So I wanted to try this, uh, these beautiful colors. I got pink, orange. I think I want to try something like really, uh, something light. I wanted to do a smoky eyes. Mm, maybe we are going to, maybe like go something too dark. But I want to pick something orangey. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is like really light orange. Um, and then let's put some brown on top of it and dark right here. So I really am looking forward to do this. I want to use all this eyeshadow right now. I'm serious. They're so cute. Um... I do want this orange. 
And we're gonna do some brown, some brown, some brown as well. Let's just keep this orange first. Cause some of it has glitter on it and I don't want a lot of, I don't want a lot of glitter. So before I do my eyeshadow, you wanna, you wanna curl your eye uh, lashes, okay? Oh, that was messed up. No! Oh, there's another one, okay. Ooh, smoky. Let's let's go from orangey to like blend into smoky. How about that? And then we get both both of the best worlds. I love smoky eyes, but you have to do it before you put any foundation before you finish finish your face because we're gonna have um, eyeshadows all over your face, so it's gonna get messy. Okay. Okay, let's let's do best of the both worlds, which is like dark to light, dark to light. And you do want to add dark over here at the ends and light in, in, inside right here. First thing you want to choose a base. I try to I try to use uh, my highlighter as a base. I better find my, my blender brush today because I love the brush, my blending brush for my eyeshadow. I'm going to die if I can, okay, no. No! Okay, there's one right there, okay. So I'm using a really light highlighter that lighters. This is a hard candy, hard candy um, highlighter and blush. A little leg glam. Yeah, hi Pane, good morning. So, a little uh this is a hard candy highlighter that i really like and you can use this pink i never could find like a really good pink for my eyes and that one is just perfect so i'm using the highlighter for my base i'm trying to find my blend my uh sorry that was my alarm a uh, really good blending brush that i was using yesterday Oh, there's some over here. Sorry. This is like you have to have this brush. Super, super, super good blending. Let's put some tape because I can't hold something straight. I mean, I could do something straight, but then I'm going to have to use different colors. So we have to use some tape today. So, um... If I found my tape, I'm so sorry. I thought I had my tape. Oh, there it is. I should leave this right here. So let's put some tape. And we should put some tape over here. We're not gonna talk. Hi, Desiree. Oh, thank you so much. Where, where are you at, Desiree? Right here, we are in Houston. I think it's like 7 o'clock right now, I think. So I'm doing this angle, like towards my eyebrow. Okay, where is it in? Ta-da! Lambska star. Oh, really? Is it California? Oh yes, two hours. Uh, you guys are. We are. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you hours. Two hours behind, right? Okay. Be careful when you put your uh, tape. You can touch your tape. Make sure it's the right angle. Okay. Yeah, two hours behind, and it's seven here in Texas, Houston, Texas. Yeah, my. Uh, um, I got family members that live in California. I used to live there in California. Not Lambscaster, though. Like, I heard that it's really beautiful there. Oh my God, you're in Hawaii, Gladys! 
Oh my god! You're gorgeous! Always tan and beautiful. I wish I could live in Hawaii. It looks so beautiful. Just away from all these crazy people. <laughs> Including me. <laughs> so make sure your brush is really clean, okay? Because I haven't got my uh, switch color cleaner. I need to really bad. Um, because we're gonna use this um, orange. It looks like orangey for for summerish. Oh god! Oh my god! That orange is really burnt. Like, look, look. We're gonna use that color. Ah! Oh, I think I put too much. We're gonna do a smoky eyes. We're gonna do. And what I do is make sure you don't put it directly into your eyes. Like you're not gonna just like boom, boom. Don't do that. You wanna go slow, okay? You wanna blend. You wanna start blending it until you find the color that you want. Hi, April. Good morning. Oh, roll eyelid. Oh my God, that is so cool. I know, right? I'm jealous. I wanna go to Hawaii. Let's go, people. Let's go to Hawaii. Let's go to Gladys. Gladys, what's your address? We are, um, we are uh, going over there. Right? We're going to go see Gladys. We're going to be like, no, we have to go see somebody. So, build, uh, it, take off the excess, okay? You want to start building your color. You don't want to go put it. Lancaster is cheap, but not worth it. Oh, really? I used to live in California and um, everything is so expensive and Texas is super affordable. Like super affordable here. You can buy a house, you can do a business. There's more opportunities here to do it. There's too many rules over there. I don't really like too many rules. I know, we all want to go to Hawaii now, to Gladys, Gladys. Mm. We coming girl. <laughs> oh my god I just like I wish to live in a paradise like that just that's heaven I'm in heaven <laughs> uh, yes I remember I'm that old I remember that song oh, nice Desiree where are you from Desiree Caceres hi is that, see, you You guys are better give me a nickname. Ceceres? But, oh, Patricia. Papi. Okay, let me grab a small mirror because I can't look at my mirror. So they're super, super, super far. So we're going to do is start building the color, okay? You see? So I already use a really light. You want to use this color all over in the bottom because this is going to be another vase. If you're gonna do a smoky eye, I love this color. It's like um, like a dark orangey. So just blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, okay? Oh my God, now I wanna go to Hawaii. You guys are killing me. I'm going. That's it. I don't know how I'm gonna go. I might be walking, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Daniela. Good morning. Now, you haven't missed a lot. I just did my eyebrows and I'm talking. And we're gonna go to Hawaii. That's why you missed. Sorry, you're not going. You came late. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Hortensia Sosa. That's my mom's last name, Sosa. Yes, it's like a peach color, exactly. And that's what we're gonna use as a background. And you like, you wanna start with your lightest color and then build it up and put those layers that you wanna build. I mean, everybody does it differently. I mean, I'm just showing you the way that I do it, okay? You mean swimming, like a peach color. Hi, Erica, good morning. Good morning. 
Buenos dias. So, get it right here because we want this light to appear later on, okay? So we are, oh my God, the tape is coming off already. I hope it doesn't mess it up. Okay, you see how I have color all over my face already? It's starting to uh, come down. Because when you're using pigment with the powder, you only need a little bit, like a little bit, a little bit. Like really little. Look, I'm just still taking excess of it, like a lot. Good morning. Oh, thank you, Hortensia. You, see, you look so beautiful in your picture. Oh, you look so beautiful in your picture. Mariela, good morning. Do you highlighter win? Do you do? Yes, of course. Um, some, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it looks good, and sometimes it doesn't. So, depend how that day. But I have to like really take my time and start. I start usually from over here, and then I, I come out, I come in, and I, I like fill it in. Good morning. So keep blending. It's like an orange. I already put my base for my shadows. I use the hard candy glow and blush together. I use the, the highlighter part. And I put that all over my eye. Of course, I primer first because I want my eyelashes, my eyelashes, my eyeshadows to last. Okay. So, and we're using this kind of orangey summer color we're gonna turn it into a smoky eye because uh somebody say i want smoky eyes i love you so oh thank you you should have seen early why i did uh what time are you going to work uh i'll be leaving in like 30 minutes so i have 30 minutes i will finish this is gonna take this is gonna be no time thank you for reminding me see you guys have to like say here we are woman Okay, this is my base. Then I want to see if they have a really dark brown. I'm going to put this. I think I have, I think I have really light. We're going to use this really light brown from this palette. Really light. We're gonna start building the dark right here in the corner. Yeah, and I'm super like, uh, I'm super like, whatever I'm wearing, like that's the way I wanna do my makeup. And the way I wanna do my makeup, that's what I need to wear. Like, if I'm wearing blue, I like to wear some blue in my face or, you know, a little bit blue or, you know, just kinda. So I try to match things, you know. So I'm gonna use this other palette which I'm gonna use a really, uh, the black. Now I'm gonna use black. And you're gonna do it, your darker colors goes right here in the corner. I like to do it right here on the corner because it makes your eyes stand out a little bit more. And just keep blending, okay? And you're just gonna use just a little bit. Just a little bit of dark. Actually, I put too much dark. Um, I'm using my, these ones are, this is no, unique palettes. This is number two. And I use uh, number one for the light browns. This is all light browns, but it looks like that messed up because I use it a lot. <laughs> I have all the palettes from from them. So we're gonna use a dark. And it feels really soft. It doesn't feel cakey. You know, like sometimes you put you feel like you have a lot of makeup on. And this doesn't feel like you have any makeup actually. 
So you see how messy it is, uh, smoky eyes? So that's why you have to, if you're gonna wear a nice dress, always do your smoky eyes first or glitter or whatever before you put any white dress, anything like that. Um, because it's just gonna get messy. It's gonna get really messy. And I'm just showing you how messy it is. Some people just ask me for a smoky eye when they're already dressed up and have a little bit of makeup. Oh, morning. Hola, buenos dias, Davina. You made it. So it's gonna make my eye pop when you do your smoky eye right here. We're just gonna do like orangey. Okay, I'm gonna get closer. Orangey with dark right here. So what I'm doing is just blending, 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 blending. And then clean your brush. And you're just gonna work your way in your eyelid, okay? So you can see where I was blending. You made it! Thank you. So let's clean in. I want to start. You see how messy that is? Remember how early I put my highlighter? Well, now I have a back for my highlighter. You see that I don't have to go back in there and just start putting more highlighter. But that's on you. You can go in there and clean it out more with your with your highlighter, okay? And it probably I do that so just to purpose of showing you. I could go back in there and if you forgot to put a highlight underneath, I could go back in there and show you. So that's the way it looks. And you can grab a small brush. I do have a highlighter, but it's very creamy. And this is from Laura Mercier, but I don't wanna use a creamy highlighter when I'm putting powders because I want everything to blend in when I want to. Like, I mean, it will blend in with the cream stew, but. If you do the powder, it's gonna blend in so much nicer. BBI, good morning. Thank you, you too. You guys have a great day. So what I'm doing is just I'm adding a small highlighter right underneath the eyes. That's what I'm doing. I'm just adding a little bit of highlighter. I mean, even you can use, I will be using this uh, glow kit for Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is awesome. You can use it to highlight under your eyes right here. A really light highlight. Good morning, Maricela. If you, uh, I'm sorry if I miss any questions. I always go back and look at your questions. Uh, don't feel ignored. Okay. So I'm just putting the highlighter there. And if you, you want everything to blend in together. Okay, you don't want lines. You don't want anything like that. Um, let's see, you, you want everything to kind of transition like from this color to that color, from this color to that color. You don't want to see a line. You want everything just kind of like blending together, like it belongs there. And usually when I have more time, I clean my eyebrows much better, but when I don't take a lot of time, you see, so now you get this. And sometimes I just leave it like this and I just put an uh, eye, uh, eyeliner because sometimes you already have a wing, you know? You, if you always mess up, you know how to clean it, um, a wing, you can use your concealer. You can use again your concealer use a little bit of your foundation or concealer 
and you're gonna do this, okay? Hold on. Ah! You gonna you can clean it with your brush. But right now I have so much dirt in my face, I need to clean it. I clean my face at night with this, I clean my makeup, and then I clean my face with this, with Witch Hazel. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of uh, makeup cleaner. Ugh. Man down, man down, all the makeup is falling out. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it a little bit because I put too much I told you guys it's going to be messy. So I'm going to have to add more concealer. My face gets super red. You can't tell, but it does. If I'm in the sun, it gets super red. And then, like, I get black spots. Like, yeah, just like that. So we're gonna use a little bit more concealer. Then I'm gonna add my foundation. Sorry, I was over there. And I have a lot of big like pores over here, so make sure you put your uh, conceal uh, your primer right where your pores are because your primer just kind of help you. It's gonna help your foundation. It's gonna help you like with those pores that we have right there, if you have them. Okay, I'm gonna use for my foundation. I will be using. Oh, there it is. YSL. Is that that I'm saying it right? YSL. Foundation. Thank you, baby. Ugh. Christina, good morning. So we're just going to put a little bit. Um, you can use a beauty blender or you can use a uh, brush, a uh, foundation brush. We're gonna put it all over because we're in a hurry now. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Ah! Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. I wanna start working with this side because I put primer and concealer right here. So it's super wet that area. So I'm supposed to let it dry. Where's my oval brushes? What did I do with them? I was using an oval brush yesterday and I can't find them now because, oh, huh, they're right here. Uh, do, 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 because it's faster, I wanted a, like a big oval brush. And you can put your foundation on it or you can put it on your face like I did first. There's no perfect step. You do whatever you want in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> uh, so... And, and the oval brushes just kind of slide your makeup. Don't forget your neck. You're supposed to just slide it. Um, oval brushes were created for a smoother look, for like almost like an airbrush look. You know how these brushes will give you a stroke. If they're not soft enough, it's gonna give you strokes, okay? This is super soft. I have this one. I used to use this one for a liquid foundation. And I don't kind of don't use it anymore because I use my beauty blender or I use this ones. You want to use something really soft. Okay, and you just slide it over like really gentle and like soft.
you know around my eyes like i like to use my beauty blender because i don't want those strokes i don't want anything around my eyes to show my eye bags they're gonna go away throughout the day i'm just like super tired in the morning the other brushes i want them at this group I was gonna get them my uh, uh, you can get them online or they, they could go from $39 a set um, the knockoff they don't have any brand uh, and they have a plastic handles they're like $39 a set um, and if you're gonna really good ones they're like $400 a set online um, but uh, any beauty supply a lot of beauty supplies now are carrying in I kind of like them. I'm just not used to like use them other than for my foundation and like for other things. You can use it for powder or foundation. They have like a really, a really softer um, fibers. Um, they're made for, for softer look, like I said. So that's why they were made. They call it like a spoon brush uh, over brushes. So you would not be wrong by calling that. Like, you haven't seen the the metal handles that look like a spoon it's the same thing it's just the hand is different i want to i want to start collecting them but those are too expensive the expensive ones like really expensive so i have to beg my fiance probably to get them for me you see in amazon it says davina she said she found hers in amazon and you can find like really inexpensive ones there too. Um, so what you're doing is you're just gonna like, you're gonna slide up uh, outside. Like you're just gonna, it's like you, it's just gonna give you a softer look. And that contouring is so much easier with this. It has a really great blending, oh my God. Super like I, I do contouring my darker areas with my over brushes and it just I like it. I really like it. Uh which um I don't know either. You know what? If you're not sure, I will buy the cheapest one first because that's what I did. Actually, I bought a cheap one and even at the beauty supply store, they sell individual. I think I bought this one. Look. I bought this one and they feel almost the same, okay? The, buy a cheap one, try them, and then if you want to invest on the real ones, then go ahead and buy them. Um, there's some that have like a white handle and stuff, or like, you know, go to a Sephora store online. I think they have it there. I think, I'm not sure. I don't remember what website I saw there. But I bought a cheap one first. This was like $4.99 at the beauty supply store. And then for some reason, I want this the set of brushes for Anastasia Beverly Hills. I want them in this group. When Hades doing the giveaways, I want it. Um, because I really wanted them, like really bad. So get the cheap ones just to try them and see if it, you like them, you know, before you spend $400. And then you will have extra brushes. So it's like you slide over, like it really makes your skin so much smoother. I really like them. I just, it's like using your beauty blenders, but with the handle, you know. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just just get the, the, the cheap ones first and get them in Amazon or, you know, or look at the reviews. Look at the reviews for the brands, what are the best brand. And then when you find the best brand or the best reviews, um, you can go ahead and, and, and you know spend that kind of money. My eyes are going down, which is good. I 
I'm gonna show you really quick what I do with these oval brushes when it comes to um, when it comes to the contouring and uh, darker areas. Oh, I can't find my um, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So if you have a dark cream, come on, little fella, work with me. I, I'm a, I have a darker cream from my one of my concealers. So if you dip a little bit, okay, you're gonna grab a small brush. So I'm gonna contour my nose. So this is because I have a big forehead, so I usually put darker areas right here. And I do this little curve right here because I want my cheeks to look like this when I smile or I talk. From the hairline, you're gonna stop your dark from your hairline to the middle of your eye. I have a video on it. If anybody wants me to tag you about contouring, let me know. And you kinda start blending in. And we want to cut, you know how you have your neck sometimes, it's like, I haven't worked out for a while, so like everything's getting saggy. So to separate everything, that's why I put the, my darker areas. Uh, placement is very important when it comes to contouring. I'm just showing really quick, this is not going to take... It's... Contour it just to help you define your face and just kind of make your face much skinner. And that's all I did. And then we're going to blend it. We're going to use the all the brushes. Let's get a little bit bigger so we can uh, speed up the process. So you just kind of blend it down. Okay. I haven't applied any, any powder because I'm still applying creams, okay? See how easy it blends in? So you wanna like circle in motion and backwards because I already brought it wherever I wanted to. So again, you wanna blend all these backwards like so. And then, and then go up. I don't wanna build it down. I wanna go up over here. What do you think, Davina? Okay, it's cucumbers in your eyes is, uh, uh, it has to be like natural, right? Like it has nutrition for your skin, but it's a temporary, it's a temporary, um, um, it's a temporary vitamins and freshness that it's gonna give to your eyes, okay? I really recommend if you have a dark, dark skin or dark under your eyes, you have wrinkles, darker, Use this, uh, hazel, witch hazel, okay? Putting uh, pickles under your eye, you're gonna do it maybe once a month. That's not gonna do anything, okay? It just, it's just my opinion, you know, this is just my opinion. It's just refreshing your eyes, it's putting some vitamins right on top of the skin. But again, next day you're gonna put makeup, you're gonna go outside, you're gonna run, you're gonna do stuff. You have to do it every single day to be able to put vitamins on your directly into your skin. So, I mean, you have to really like do facials, um, not facials, yeah, facials maybe like once a month or um, uh, exfoliate your skin. I exfoliate my skin. I, I started doing it. I'm older, I'm getting, I do it once a week. I have something that I, I exfoliate my skin. So if you take care of your skin and when you put makeup on, it's like, oh my God, that's beautiful skin is like so beautiful to me because my skin sucks because I didn't take care of it. So 
So you're gonna blend, 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 blend. Don't forget your neck. So right here, you're just gonna blend it down, okay? Because you wanna create that shade of, you create a shade, a dark shade over here so it goes in the background. Lighter areas goes forward and darker areas you wanna pull backwards, you don't wanna see it. So we're gonna add some powder and some blush and some like mascara and I'll be good to go. Yeah, just clean it. You know what? If your skin is pretty bad, you have a lot of patches, dark spots, just clean it in the morning before you put your makeup and then the night before you go to bed. Make sure something that is going to be set there after. And in the morning after you put it on because remember, this is kind of, it's cleaning your face. It's not a moisturizer. So it's kind of, if you have a dry skin, it, you're going to feel it. it. It ties it up. Like it ties, it's like a, it really ties your skin. So put a moisturizer, let it sit, let it dry, and then put your moisturizer and then start working in your eyes. But it's really good. I like it. Oh, my powders. Powder, powder, powder. Okay. Almost done, ladies. So I'm on a set. I'm just putting powder, my light powder. I'm using Mineral Touch Press Powder. I'm using it only where I have my lighter areas, okay? Then I'm gonna use my bronzer I'm gonna use it for my darker areas where I put the contouring, a little bit of the contouring. It's not a lot, um, just a little bit. Just, you know, so you're just gonna put a little bit of bronzer, a little bit, uh, top it, and it's just, you're gonna put it right on top with, to seal, you know, because we use creams. So I like to use something dark to seal everything I did. And then the bronzer is going to make it look like an airbrush. The finished, softer look. I mean, even you can go like this. Like, you don't have to put anything else. I think I... I think I said it, I'm using, I'm not using any contour set. I do have some contour sets, but for today, because I wanted something creamy and it helps, this is faster using my oval brushes. I use a concealer, a darker concealer, like a three, two shades darker than my skin. Well, this is super dark, but I, you blend, blend it in very well. It doesn't matter how dark it is. Yeah, Davina, start using in the morning and before you go to bed, okay? You do want to use your glow before. You put your, a little bit of highlighter before you put any blush, any, any, any type of blush. And I only use a little bit of blush, like a little bit. My blush is like, I just put it right on top of my, right kind of underneath it or on top right here. I just use a little bit, cause you know, we did a smoky eye, so I don't want to like, boo, too much. which is super dark in here and just on time. So you, if you put too much, just go with your fluffy brush and just take off a little bit out, okay? Because I don't want too much. And what you do with your 
with your highlighter you can uh, put on a little highlighter right here top of your nose okay grab a little bit of your finger Got a little bit of your finger almost done ladies I'll probably keep doing my eyeliner at work. I'm probably gonna uh, do finish this. Well, you put a little mascara. You guys know how to do that. Um, the lips. Try to use a eye, uh, eyeliner. I mean eyeliner. Ah, lip liner. It help you to define your lips. I think. It really, and if you're over 25, you're starting to get your own lines. It's just kind of cool. I, I saw it coming, like, you start to see your defined lips and stuff. You can put lip gloss, you can... If you got wrinkles in your lips, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch it, okay? You're gonna go really stretch it. And I'll line those suckers. See, but that's a witch hazel comb. Witch hazel is just going to help you uh, tie your skin up, okay? I don't know which lipstick to use today because I bought two shades uh, the other day from Milani and I wanted to try. There's a purple. There's a purple and a darker, darker purple that looks almost red. Which one should I use? I don't know which one to use. I'm undecided. Or... Or I could use a lighter tone, or I could use a nude color. <laughs> no, it's fine. Some people don't. That this one, the red one, which one should I use? Purple, purple, red, purple, red. Which one should I use? What we got going on here? Dark purple, this one. Darker, this one. Nude, darker red. Yes, this one, darker red. Like, it's like a dark purple. I, I wasn't sure which one to use. I really, like, look at that one. And they were like, uh, I like the colors from Milani. Uh, they're not so bad. They're like $4.99 and then I really like the, the colors. Okay, that one, right? Okay, darker. Um, it has some like a peachy smell. It's like a, it's not so bad. You have to do a couple of cuts to uh. No, they're not made. It looks like I have to do a couple of coats. To get it dark. Does it look good or do I need to take it off? I was thinking I could mix it with the main. <gasps> Sorry. And you do can pull it off going uh, 
wearing a, a dark lipstick at work, so you don't have to wear nude. I did have to do a couple of coats to be able to get this this color, and I feel like my face is too pale right now for this color. So we did we, when your face is too pale for this color, you might want to add a little bit more. Um, blush on the side. I was thinking to mix it with the mate. Like, um, mix it with a little bit with, uh, uh, look, I have this one too that is made. And I had my Beverly Hill uh, um, Leapy. I was thinking like, I wonder if I should put a little bit in the middle. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I like it. We got this shit. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So I put the mate like you told me. That's a good idea. So, and it, it feels like a little bit heavy, but who cares? It looks good. So you do can mix your mate with the lipstick. Oh, I like it. Mm. And if you want it shiny, it's up to you. Okay, somebody asked me to say, Fabi, can you do a tutorial in your, um, in your bun? <laughs> My buns. Um, so, here it is. This is the way I do it. I do it, like, somewhere around right here. It's better to do it when your hair is wet. And then I start doing this. And then I go all the way around. And I go all the way around and tie everything underneath. Then I put a dark, non-elastic, well, the elastic doesn't show, so it kind of doesn't break your hair. So this is the way I do my bun. Boom, 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 boom. Are you good to go? I need my earrings. I will put my black eyeliner in my 3D fiber lashes. Later, I think I have to go. Looks better, right? Like, tone it down a little bit. Oh my God, the color, you guys cannot see it. I need to fix the, right there, with the. It looks really good. I like that color. And when you do dark colors, make sure you clean it around your lips, okay? Thank you, girls. I will finish through here and I will put some pictures. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. Yeah, it looks better because it's kind of toned down. You want everything to blend them together. Like you don't want it like, whoa, too much, you know? But it's like the main tone it way down. Like, and it feels, mm, it feels like a little bit heavy, but I do like it. Ooh, I do like this. Oh my God. I do like it. Yay! We accomplished this face. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, have a great day. Have a great day. Earrings. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to go put my earrings and I hit the door. So, thank you. See you tomorrow. I might go up tomorrow morning. Bye. Thank you. See what happened? So when you're talking or you're laughing, you like automatically just like show up. Bye ladies, have a great day.